The University of Florida has a lot of interest in heat stress. Heat stress affects dairy cow health, milk yield, dairy cow reproduction. So we've been interested for years in ways to minimize the effects of heat stress on animal production. And with global climate change becoming a greater concern, it's more important than ever that we have methods for reducing the impact of heat stress. The SLIC project takes advantage of a naturally occurring mutation that exists in certain breeds of cattle that evolved in the Caribbean. The slick gene results in animals producing a very short, sleek hair coat. And possessing that makes them better able to regulate their body temperature. So they lose more of their body heat to the surrounding environment and they suffer fewer effects of heat stress on milk yield and on reproduction. So with the slick cows, what you'll typically see, and you're not gonna see it on every single slick animal, and it's gonna to be to different um, degrees, but especially over their forehead, you're gonna see a lot less hair there. And you'll also be able to see on their back across their top line, a normal cow is gonna have a lot of hair there and you'll be able to see all the fuzz sticking up. And with a slick cow, normally what it looks like is that they just got a fresh haircut. We can test for the genes that make that animal a slick animal versus a regular cow um, at any point in their life. But we like to do it within the first month or so, especially if they're a male. Um, if they're um, a male cow, then we might want to market their semen um, to different bull studs um, as it's a pretty desirable gene, especially in other hot weather climates. A lactating dairy cow produces so much milk that she produces about as much heat as a Tour de France bike rider. And she has to lose that heat to the air or she heats up. So a lot of environments that wouldn't be considered all that hot to a human are hot to a dairy cow. So because cow milk production has increased over time, cows produce more milk today than they did 20 years ago. And because the world is much hotter, cows are experiencing heat stress in parts of the world where heat stress was never a problem. If we want to have inexpensive, healthy food produced from animals uh, in the future, we need to solve the problem of heat stress.